I'll be wondering, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be continuing what if Naruto was a vampire. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. You are watching Shinobi L. <laughs> So as Naruto is sitting there, everybody's made it back to the village and Naruto reopens the portal and he walks through the portal with uh, what everyone thinks is a, well, what everyone sees is the dead Hinata. So like they have a funeral for her and everything, but like Naruto isn't like, he's not like, what's like, he's not that's not what he want. Like he he's moping, like he's sad. So um like after everything happens, Katie goes out and she finds Hinata's like grave and she digs Hinata up and she bites Hinata, but she puts Hinata back in the grave so it you know, so that way no one just sees Hinata walking around. So one time like Naruto Naruto was walking and he sensed what he thought was Hinata's chakra but that doesn't to him he like he says that doesn't make any sense because she's gone I saw her die and then Naruto was, was like that's a little weird and Naruto's like you don't think she could have been and Naruto was like well, the Naruto's was like, I don't know, you were crying, but I don't think that's how that works. And Naruto was like, I don't know, let's just go make sure. So Naruto and, you know, Naruto walks over to where Hinata's buried. So he begins to, like, dig it up. And Sasuke walked past us, and he's walked past. And he sees Naruto digging up Hinata's grave. And he walks over there and he's like, yo, what are you doing? And Naruto was like, you should help me open this. And Sasuke was like, why would I let you, why would I help you open that? You're digging up your friend's grave. Like, that's a little sick, isn't it? And Naruto was like, just help me open it. So, like, they open it and Hinata is like, like, she kind of moves her head off to the side to, like, like the light's blinding her face. Like, it's a bright light. So, Naruto, like, he gets happy. She's, like, she's alive. So, he runs over there and he, like, he, he gets, he jumps down into the hole and he pulls her up. Like, and he lifts her up. But when Sasuke grabs her, grabs her hand, Sas um, Hinata goes and she tries to bite him. And Naruto, seeing that, she he pushes Hinata away from Sasuke, like pushing her up and out of the hole. And Naruto was like, Sasuke, you need to get from over here. And Sasuke was like, why? And Naruto was like, because you just need to leave from over here now. So Sasuke, like, not realizing, like, not understanding what's going on, he says, okay, and he leaves. And... Naruto was like, you can't do that, Hinata. And Hinata asks Naruto, why? They're just food. And Naruto was like, here, I'll show you why we can't go around doing that. And Naruto opens up his like his different dimen like his different dimensional portal, like his like his own plane of existence. Yeah, he opens up his portal and underneath her. And she falls into it, and then he opens up a portal for him, and he walks through his. So, when they get in there, Naruto begins to tell her, like, everyone, like, reasons why she can't do that, because everyone has a family, and it wouldn't be right to take everything from someone else, if that's like, yeah. So, Hinata was like, so, if that's the case... What about you? And Naruto looks at her and was like, what do you mean? 
And she was like, you had something important taken away from you, right? But now you have Katie. And Naruto was like, yeah, I do. But, like, she still has that all uh, their food mentality. So, like, the, over the next couple of days, they have noticed Hinata's grave being dug up. So, and her body gone. So, they're actively looking for Hinata and Naruto. But it's been, like, a couple of weeks. And when they resurface, like, when they reemerge, Naruto and Hinata, when they reemerge, Hinata walks out and she's like showing restraint that she has to realize that they have to keep this a secret. So, like when everybody finds them, plus Naruto did the experiment and like the um the way to see if you had any mana and she only has um a le- um wind magic. She only can use wind magic and it's not that strong. So, yeah. So, Hinata, like, everybody was asking her, how was she alive? Because they sent, they used a Byakugan on her. They, like, they saw that she was dead. The doctors even said that she were dead. And Hinata was like, I, would, I just woke up and dug myself out of my um, grave. And they were like, oh. And Naruto found you and didn't tell anybody. And Naruto was like, uh, my bad for that. I just didn't think you all would believe me. And they were like, okay. So after a couple of minutes. And they were like, yeah, that makes some sense, I guess. And Naruto was like, that's not the, mo- like, we can celebrate that she's, you know, back. And Nar- they were like, yeah, but no, not right now. And they were like, what do you, Naruto's like, what do you mean? And mm, Kakashi was like, we still have to find and take down the rest of the Yambu Black Ops. And Naruto was like, oh, okay. So they all, like, they're start, like they're moving around and they're trying to find the Yambu Black Ops. And if you remember in Boruto, that thing, that, um, like that little weird cat demon creature thing, bullshit, that, you know, that people made. Yeah. So, like they come across the lab where that's being researched and the people in the squad the people that came across it was Hinata, Naruto and Katie because Katie also had to go over some things with her. So when they come across the room, every like they're just walking around and then like she gets attacked by someone and the person tries to put her tries to put Hinata underneath a genjutsu. And him believing that it, that he thinks it works, he grabs like the paper, like the seal that they that they just finished making, like they just finished making the thing, and he puts it on her, believing that she's just gonna go back to the village and, you know, yeah. So, Hinata, after receiving the mark. She throws the um she throws the guy off of her. And she grabs her like she grabs her back. Like she touches her back and she like she feels like the bruising from the mark. But it almost instantly starts to heal. So after that she realizes like whatever that was, it can't be that good. So then after a couple of minutes, after Naruto and Katie sense the mana change, well, not mana change, the um, chakra change in Hinata and an extra chakra being added to her, um, they, like, they rush over there and they find, you know, the guy. 
And the guy has a wife and two kids. Well, a kid. So, they, um... Alright, so the kids try to escape, and Naruto, he runs over there, and he's like, well, the wife and the kids try to escape. And Naruto, like, he runs over there, he's like, where are you guys going? And, like, they were like, we didn't want to do this. He forced us to. And the kids were still babies. Well, no, he just had his wife at the time, because they're still young, so... Yeah. So he just had his wife at the time. And Naruto was like, you can't go running off. You know, because we need you for interrogation. And, whoa. So, they like, Naruto was like, you're not going anywhere. So, we flash, oh, like, they take them back to the home, to the village, and Hinata can feel this other presence inside of her. And she's trying to get to understand it and everything. Like, she's trying to see if she could talk to it or something like that. Trying to see if it's something like the tailed beast. And after... So after a bit, they like, she finally like wants to tell somebody about it. So she walks up to Haruzen and she tells Haruzen and Haruzen un like understanding the situation, but clearly he has to protect the village before he can worry about her safety. So he quickly tells, you know, Kakashi and Guy to get her away from the village. So they start jumping, like they, like they leave the Hokage's office, like they leave the area that they were in, and they start heading away. And Naruto sensing this, and sensing that they're moving pretty fast, he gets a little mad, believing that you know they're she's being chased. So he chases, like he goes after them, and when Naruto catches up to them, she, Nar she tells Naruto what's going on. And Naruto, respectfully, like he understandably, is a little concerned. So he's asking her, is she okay? Like, are they doing anything? Are they chasing her? And Kakashi was like, no, he just wanted us to get her away from the village. And Naruto was like, so he's not worried about her. He's not worried about her health. And Guy was like, he has to worry about the civilians in the village before he can worry about he has his health. Although she carry some form of um royalty in the village it doesn't mean that she is above everyone in the village the haruzen would rather risk losing one life than losing thousands or millions over one thing that could have been avoided and naruto was like yeah whatever and hinata like like they like as Hinata is running, like out like like she turns around and she stops. Well, everyone stops. She turns around and she's about to start running again. But like as she's like she's gonna take off, they see like the um like the seal, like the mark on her back is starting to glow and like they Naruto and Kakashi call Hinata's name. And this is where I'm in this part off. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like. If y'all enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anyway, this has been Shinobi. Peace.